I think you should know that I called Dr. Pruitt this morning. To tell him what? To tell him that you will be returning Brutus this afternoon. Returning Brutus? My mind is made up. That dog turned vicious. He goes or else. Or else what? Listen here, he was absolutely blameless for what happened last night, Fran. Oh, blameless? Brutus is a kind, lovable, intelligent oh. animal. <laughs> now shut up, you idiot. Now, from Walt Disney's wonderful world of color, The Ugly Dachshund. Last week, in part one of our story, you met the Garrison family. Mark. Da -da 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 -da. Fran. Da -da 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 -da. The Dachshunds, Franz, and Mark's Great Dane, Brutus, who, because he had been raised with them, thought that he, too, was a Dachshund. Oh, Brutus! Oh, but you look what he's done. Yeah, well, he just wants to play with them. Do you think he really believes he's their brother? Well, I hope not. As you'll recall, Mark's opinion of the Doxies was, well, frankly, he didn't care for them. I'm only going to say this once, Fran. I have had it with those walking wieners. I have had it. I refuse to let them run my life. I will not have it anymore, Fran. Keep them out of my way, or they're really going to wind up sausages. And Fran felt pretty much the same way about the Dane. That dog is too destructive. He has got to go. Now, it's a well-known fact that puppies turned loose in a room can just about turn it inside out. was the one thing Fran and Mark could never agree on. Oh. You'll also recall that as part one of our story ended, Officer Carmody, investigating a prowler in the garrison's yard, happened to run into Brutus. And now, as we continue, it's the following morning. Honey, females always make the difference. 